Hello and welcome back everyone to Human Resource Machine. This time we're going to look at Year 20, the Multiplication Workshop. Here what we're supposed to do is for each two things in the inbox, multiply them and outbox the result. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. So that's nice. Um, so essentially we have again a case where I wasn't able to make both challenges in one. Um, the idea is we copy from zero, we um, have a static zero right here, copy it to F from X and Y which is the result, for, or the field where I copy the result. Uh, we take from the inbox, copy to X, we take from the inbox, copy to Y which are our two factors, and then essentially we just check um, if we have a zero, in this case if, if Y is a zero, if so we just um, outbox the result we copy from x uh, f from x and y so the result copy it straight to the outbox in this case it's a zero and go straight back up um, in case it's not a zero we copy from the result and add x so this one then we copy that back to the result and then bump minus the y so essentially y becomes our loop counter and for each step in that loop counter we um, add an X which is essentially the same as multiplying so let's have a look we copy to our result field so up until now it's 0 we have 6 times 5 which sh should be 30 so we take 6 add it to the 0 copy it back uh, bump the minus the, the counter and then repeat for each uh, bump of the counter, we add X. So now we add it once, once more. Boom. We hit zero. We outbox the result. And that's that. And then we repeat. Copy zero there. Copy to X. Copy to Y. And then use Y as our loop counter again. Copying the result back to the... Uh, of the intermediate result back to the result field, pumping down our y, adding an x, and so on and so forth, until we hit zero on our counter. And that's that. Our boxing 16. So if we speed that up a bit, We get our size challenge, exactly 15 commands, but we didn't get our speed challenge. We're actually up by a lot. So let's go back and look at the second one. So this one was one where I basically played dumb again and just did an enormous copy and pasting. Well, it's not technically copy and pasting. I had literally built this manually. Um, the, uh, the thing that saves us here is that I save on loops essentially. So at this loop I save and um, I put in a couple of checks so in case the first one is zero um, I mean zero times anything is zero so I checked for the first factor for x if it's zero if so we outbox zero right away um, if not we copy it to x because we have to store it somewhere um, even though if the second one is zero it's the same thing but again we would lose that factor otherwise so if, if the second one y is also zero we just go right to the out box um, then otherwise we copy it to y then we subtract x so in case um, you wonder why this is um, me trying to figure out which one is the larger one so we sub x if it's negative then x is bigger and then we swap them to um, I know then, then we use y as the counter otherwise we um, swap the uh, the factors um, reason being that if we use well it's not not quite true I, I don't um, swap the factors that was my original plan but I, I stepped away from that again uh, so the idea is I, I want to use the one that is smaller as the loop counter so that I have to iterate a, a bit less often um, so if uh, let's say x is uh, 100 y is 2 
the result would be the same if I loop twice and add 100 or loop 100 times and add twice but it would take a lot less steps obviously if I loop using the higher number as the counter and so that's the idea here. Um, so in case it's uh, negative and x is bigger um, I'm going to add x each step and bump minus the y. Uh, in case uh, y is the bigger one I'm going to add y and bump x or bump minus the x to um, use that as the counter. So that's that's essentially what's saving the steps here. And then also in order to eliminate the loop in the end, that's also somewhat costly, uh, I made copies of that whole thing again. I mean again you don't have to do that manually, I'm going to paste that in the description and you can just take it from there. So let's have a look. So we we get 5 and 6, um, we subtract to figure out which one is the larger one. In this case it's x, so we are going to use y as our loop counter, adding x and then bumping down y, seeing that it's not 0. So we take 6 again, add 6, copy that to the result, bump down our counter and so on and so forth. until we hit zero on Y, which is again our counter, and then outbox the 30. Um, now we take four and four. In this case, obviously it doesn't matter which one we take, so it should default to using X as the loop counter, right? So again, we um, bump down our counter, which in this case is X, until it hits zero, add the other factor every time so end up with a zero and outbox the 16. In this case, now we have a zero. So we see the second factor is zero, so we outbox zero right away. Now we have a second case where we see, okay, we got zero right away, but we have to take the other one from the inbox as well. Otherwise we would have some sort of dangling factor lying around, which, was, which would mess up the next, um, the next run. Now we have nine and 6. We compare the two, see that x is bigger, so we use y as our loop counter and adding 9 each step of the way. And rinse and repeat until we hit our result and outbox it. So that gives us a lot more commands than 15 as you can see but um, also exactly 107 steps which is even below the maximum for the speed challenge. So yeah, that's the multiplication workshop. See you next time.